Dirty Harry was a detective who had had a lot of problems, who was very unorthodox, <laughs> who didn't like some of the bureaucratic nightmare that the, most cities are faced with nowadays. I know what you're thinking. Did he fire six shots or only five? Well, to tell you the truth, in all this excitement, I've kind of lost track myself. But being this is a 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world, and would blow your head clean off, you've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Men could say, yeah, I mean, I like that, that sort of justice, and somebody who's very individualistic. And women would fantasize that that's the kind of guy they'd like to have, or, or men fantasize that's the kind of guy I'd like to be. I'd like to be able to handle problems like that. There's a great romance in being able to have the right saying at the right time. I don't want any more trouble like you had last year in the Fillmore District. Understand? That's my policy. Yeah, well, when an adult male is chasing a female uh, with intent to commit rape, I shoot the bastard. That's my policy. Intent? How did you establish that? Well, a naked man is chasing a woman through an alley with a butcher knife and a heart on it. I figure he isn't out collecting for the Red Cross. He had that special charisma that made him a motion picture star, and Dirty Harry changed everything, and he went from stardom to superstardom. The High Plains Drifter uh, it was the first Western I'd ever directed. I liked the allegorical aspect of it. He wanted the look of a new town, a town being built. So that's why most of the lumber was raw. And he wanted to avoid the look of the uh, back lot Western streets that we use so often. And uh, with a good background. And I think uh, Clint wants him to look very real. <laughs> Here's a town where they allowed the sheriff to be whipped to death. Now somebody is coming back to remind them of their guilt. I played uh, the part of the sheriff. I asked Clint later, I said, uh, uh, am I your brother or is this like a reincarnation? He said, well, he said, just kind of let the audience make up their own mind. An ambivalent statement, sometimes it allows the audience to uh, think along with you. It allows the audience to participate in the process. Um, there's something nice about the participation of, of, of the audience, not just having a story dumped in their lap. Who are you? The stranger drifts off, and the people, never knowing whether the stranger is really a relative of the sheriff, which is the way it was originally written, or whether he is some uh, angel of uh, death that is sent down to torment them all.